My name is Sean Nunley with WildTech. I am the Vice President of Training and I have been with WildTech for approximately 30 years. We have a brand new program that we brought into WildTech. It's our new Applied Welding Technology Program. It is a six month program. You come in, it's eight hours and 20 minutes a day. You get out of here in six months and hopefully get into a career in the welding industry. Come on in. moment and just kind of show us some of the equipment you have in here? Yeah, absolutely, Sean. Come on, let's go check out our equipment room. So, Sean, over here we have our Piranha uh, Iron Worker. It's brand new, um, very well known in the industry. This is a CNC machine. Our students can design a drawing, enter it in the machine, and have this machine cut it out. So, if I had a blueprint of a project, I could just program it into the machine put my, whatever material down on the table, tell it what I want to do, and it'll cut it out, and then I just have to assemble it and that's, weld it together. Essentially, that's the basics of it. So over here, we have our Bugo MM1. This is pretty unique to a lot of schools out in the industry. We got this for beveling pipe for our students when they're doing through their pipe welding process. It can also cut saddles out. KD, what is this unique looking piece of equipment over here in the corner? I know this is important because it's in the shop. It is a weld bend tester. So you take your weld coupon. Students have to go through uh, specifics designated by uh, for either structural welding, uh, D1 1.1 uh, standards. It's an AWS American Welding Society standard. And they'll cut out weld coupons that pass a visual inspection. And then they'll prep them. And we'll put that coupon in this machine and then we'll do a destructive test of that weld and see if it holds up to bending it on the weld. But what we're offering is a WyoTech qualification uh, sheet to those students, and that says that they uh, followed the AWS standards to pass uh, the same same requirements that AWS has. All right, Sean, let's go check out some of our welding boots and the equipment oh, in there. I'd love to see those. So Sean in here, we just had a, a student finish up welding on this plate. These booths are set up really nice with these custom built welding stands. So we've got a table if they need to weld on something flat. We've got a couple different arms uh, for them to clamp their work into. This, this clamp up here was custom made by a local fab shop. It can hold a plate perfectly uh, at an overhead angle so they can weld their overhead. Or on the back side, it's kind of hard to see, but they got a design to hold a, a plate or a piece of pipe at a 45 degree angle for when they're welding their, their 6G pipe tests. So um, pretty neat stands that were custom made by a local shop here in Laramie. And this is the welder we have in all of our booths. Uh, we mentioned it a little bit earlier. It's the Lincoln PowerWave 300C. Uh, what's special about this welder, it's the only one we found out there in the industry that does all of the manual processes, including high frequency AC for our aluminum TIG welding. Well, it's a multi-process welder. There's a bunch of them out there, but we didn't find one that did uh, high frequency AC for aluminum pig welding. So we bought this machine, uh, set it up in all of our booths, so our students can have that experience doing all those processes of welding, including aluminum. And if they're doing the high frequency AC TIG, depending on how big a project, we got to have this water cooler on the back, right? Yeah, That'll absolutely. That'll help keep the, keep the TIG torch Nice and cool, yes, in so, theory? Yes, so we bought that as an add-on with this machine, along with the water-cooled TIG torch uh, for that heavy-duty welding. And this does every process? Correct, yep. Wow. It does the wire feed, the stick, and the, the TIG welding. If I came to school here and I have zero knowledge, like I've never picked a welder up in my life, is this program something that'd be good for me? So this program's designed for anyone to come in that has zero experience uh, up to um, having gone through a high school welding program. And we'll teach them everything from the basics, but we'll keep them challenged enough to move on through this program. If they came with experience, we'll challenge them more to get, become a better welder. Um, that's what's really amazing about this program is they can come in with zero experience or with some experience and stay challenged throughout the whole, whole thing. Our probably our neatest, most fun phase is that last phase that we do 
And that's our capstone project, and that's pretty unique to this program. And so when the students get to that last phase, they get to build a big project. So the project we're building at the end of this phase with our first class is actually a portable cattle loading chute. So something that's kind of well known uh, and used around here. We're in a lot of ranch country. So uh, we wanted to get that local Wyoming experience to our students of something that the locals might be able to use and appreciate. The, the sky's the limit on what they can fabricate in this program. JD, I greatly appreciate your time showing us around today on this new program. Uh, I know WildTech's excited and we appreciate all that you have done to really bring this really from conception to reality. So thank you. I greatly appreciate you taking your time today. Thanks for stopping by.